Hello everyone, I'm Tim, and today let's take a moment to chat about the captivating philosophy of Wadoryu Karate, diving into its rich history and the remarkable journey of its founders. As someone who's been practicing Wadoryu Karate for over 25 years, I'm thrilled to share some of my own experiences and insight into this fantastic martial art. Otsuka Hironori, an esteemed martial artist, dedicated his life to mastering his craft. Born in 1892, Otsuka was introduced to martial arts at a young age, beginning his journey with Shindo Yoshin Ru Jiu Jitsu under his father's watchful eye. As his skills and understanding of the martial arts grew, he had the opportunity to train in Shotokan Karate with the legendary Gichin Funakoshi. This experience would ultimately inspire Otsuka to develop his own unique martial arts style. What a real! At the heart of Otsuka's philosophy was the quest for harmony between body and spirit. He firmly believed that what a real karate held the key to achieving this balance. Otsuka's steadfast dedication to his art was recognized, and he was eventually honored with the prestigious title of Meijin. Today, Otsuka's legacy lives on, inspiring martial artists worldwide. Otsuka left behind many insightful quotes that capture his wisdom and commitment to the martial arts. One quote that deeply resonates with me is the only difference between the possible and the impossible is one's will. This powerful statement highlights the importance of perseverance and discipline, not just in martial arts, but in all aspects of life. Suzuki Tatsugo, like Otsuka, was a dedicated martial artist who left a significant and lasting mark on the world of karate. Born in 1928, Suzuki began his karate journey under the direct guidance of Otsuka Hironori. Over time, Suzuki's commitment and skill led him to become one of the most well-known Wadoryu practitioners and instructors, elevating the art to new heights in Europe and beyond. In 1989, Suzuki took the momentous step by founding the Wado International Karate Do Federation, WIKF. This organization has since become a symbol of the global growth and spread of Wadoryu Karate. The story behind the WIKF's founding is one of unity and camaraderie, as Suzuki along with other dedicated practitioners joined forces to create a global platform for Wadoryu. This spirit of inclusion and harmony mirrors the core philosophy that defines Wadoryu as a martial art. Suzuki's relentless efforts in promoting Wadoryu have not only broadened its reach but ensured that its fundamental values and teachings remain a vital part of the martial arts community, motivating countless practitioners from around the world. Taking a closer look at the founding stories of Wadoryu and the WIKF provides a unique insight into the origins of these two significant milestones in the world of martial arts. In 1934, Otsuka made the bold move to officially establish Wadoryu. Drawing from his extensive knowledge from Jiu Jitsu and Shotokan Karate, he successfully blended these elements to create a distinctive and innovative martial art form. Wadoryu was born from Otsuka's passion for martial arts and his desire to develop a style that would emphasize harmony, fluidity and adaptability. Fast forward to 1989, when Suzuki took the initiative to create the Wado International Karate Do Federation w -I -K -F. His main goal was to unite Wado Ryu practitioners from around the world under a single cohesive organization. This forward-thinking move not only strengthened the global Wado Ryu community, but also facilitated the sharing of knowledge and experiences among its practitioners. Though separated by several decades, the founding stories of Wado Ryu and the WIKF both showcased the unwavering dedication of Otsuka and Suzuki to their martial art. Their shared vision of spreading Wadoryu far and wide has had a lasting impact on the martial arts world, paving the way for countless practitioners to embrace and benefit from the unique teachings of this remarkable style. The lasting legacy of perseverance and discipline that Otsuka and Suzuki instilled in Wadoryu is evident in the lives of countless practitioners who have followed their path. Prominent students and instructors like John Wicks and Mathieu Bessen have not only excelled in their martial arts journey, but also carry the torch, inspiring and guiding new generations of karateka. Drawing from my own 25-year journey in Wadoryu, I can personally attest to the transformative power of this martial art. Throughout my experiences, I've seen how the core principles of perseverance and discipline not only helped me sharpen my techniques, but also played a crucial role in shaping my character and outlook on life. The lessons learned on the dojo floor extend far beyond the martial arts, influencing the way I approach challenges and personal growth. Wadoryu's 
emphasis on harmony, adaptability and the indomitable spirit has enriched the lives of many practitioners, encouraging us to strive for continuous improvement and cultivating an unwavering commitment to our art. As we progress in our martial arts journey, we become part of the living legacy of Otsuka and Suzuki, embodying their values and passing them on to future generations. As we uncover the nuances of the captivating world of Wadaryu, it's essential to recognize that karate isn't only about rigorous training and discipline, it's just as important to have fun and enjoy the journey along the way. In the words of Otsuka Hironori, a dojo is a miniature cosmos where we make contact with ourselves, our fears, anxieties, reactions and habits. This insightful quote serves as a reminder that karate at its core represent a deeply personal and introspective journey filled with moments of humor, joy and self-discovery. The path of martial arts is about finding balance and embracing every aspect of experience from the challenges and obstacles to the victories and breakthroughs. It's through this holistic approach that we can truly grow as practitioners and individuals. So, to all my fellow karateka, let's celebrate the philosophy of Wadaryu and honor the remarkable legacy of Otsuka Hironori and Suzuki Tetsu. Let's approach our martial arts journey with an open mind and heart, savoring every step of the way and cherishing the unique lessons that unfold on this incredible journey. I hope you enjoyed this exploration of the philosophy of Wadaryu its founding stories and the impact of Otsuka Hironori and Suzuki Tatsuo on the world of karate. As we continue our martial arts journey, let's keep the values of perseverance and discipline close to our hearts and always strive to find harmony within ourselves and with others. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day and as always, thanks for watching.